Welcome back, everybody. So this week, we're going to be talking all about red aragonite and everything it can do for you. And believe me, it can do quite a bit, even though I'm only going to discuss pretty much one topic, one topic with red aragonite. But that one topic is massive and it can do so much more than a lot of other crystals. This is red aragonite. Look at how beautiful. And I'm sure you guys have seen red aragonite in crystal shops. The best part for me for red aragonite is that it is so overshadowed, overlooked. It is cheap. Th this stuff is very cheap. Now, if you're going to get a, like a massive crystal, you know, a big softball size, of course, you're going to spend a little more money. But generally, these things come about like a half dollar size, silver dollar size, and they are like 10 bucks a piece, maybe 12 bucks a piece. That is part of the reason why I love red aragonite and, and a lot of people pass on it in crystal shops in terms of metaphysical characteristics anyway, because they think, oh, it's pretty cheap. It can't do much. I'm going to just, you know, I'll get the specimen that costs $120 that's about this size. Obviously that one's, you know, better. And no, that that's part of the reason why I love this stuff. And I'll get into that. The, the, there is one huge topic we're going to talk about with red aragonite. And that one topic is really, really, really important. And in terms of metaphysical properties, in terms of if you're using this for Reiki and, and crystal healing and emotional healing, all that kind of stuff, this is a very important one to talk about. And it should be in everybody's crystal collection. It ranges like this. I think most of this Oh boy, I, I'm shooting off the top of my head. I think a lot of it comes from Morocco, the red aragonite. I have to fact check me on that one though. <laughs> but there are tons of different aragonites. This is just one variety of it. And aragonite can look a lot different as well. But we're talking about this variety and it's called commonly, eh, I don't know, I, I hear it once in a while, but they call it Sputnik Aragonite. And like the Sputnik, what is it, a satellite, a ship, whatever it is, I'm not big on like the uh, space exploration stuff, but it's like, it's that one that has all the, the points poking out all over it, if you look it up online, Sputnik, and that's kind of why they refer to it. As you can see, it kind of grows wildly. It has crystal formation shooting out in all directions, which adds to its beauty. Uh, before we get into the properties though, look at this big piece here. I actually had another huge piece, but I think I must have sold it. Look at the size of this. It is huge. And I have seen pieces a lot bigger than this, but gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Just love the crystals. And when you're talking crystals on with aragonite, look at them all. I mean, you can look at this stuff. Look at them. They're just coat covered in every direction. And that's part of the awesomeness of aragonite is not only is it cheap, but it's so beautiful. And I, again, I see people treating this like, oh, you know, I'll pick up a piece of that and it's a couple bucks and it, it sits on your shelf. Nobody ever looks at it. Oh, it looks cool. But it, I, it, there's like a common misconception with this where 
because it's so cheap, people just pass on it. And, and I, I, I wouldn't. So there's one topic I'm going to cover with Aragonite, and it's pretty much the, well, I don't want to say the only thing, but it is such an important thing. It is, it's like a Swiss army knife in a way where it can do pretty much anything in terms of healing, in terms of emotional healing. And again, I also, I always have to say, I don't want to get yelled at by the YouTube police, but you know, don't go off of your medication. You know, I'm, I'm, this is all informational only, but anybody into metaphysical properties and stuff, and that can feel the energy of this stuff knows how high vibrational of a crystal this is. And that is its big factor. This is very potent stuff. And it's associated with the storm element. And it is, it's like electric. It's like that staticky feeling when you're working with it, like a, a buzzing, like just very high vibrational, very potent energy. And this can do it all. And in terms of emotional healing, in terms of physical healing, in terms of all that, what is the main thing you're looking for? Balance. You want to bring balance to your entire energy body. So I'm going to have to talk a little bit about that before we get into it. So your, your energy body is within your physical body, interlayered. This is where all your chakras are, all your energy centers. So all the universal energy energy that keeps you alive is processed by all these energy centers and starting from the root chakra all the way up to the crown chakra everything comes together and it just forms this huge energy vortex and your aura known as your aura and holds all this together it works with your physical body in total balance with it and this is what happens. What happens is if you're in good health, everything's stable, everything's clear, everything's energized, everything's calm, everything is good when you're in balance. When you're out of balance, that's when you're going to start manifesting issues. Disease is where, you know, I'm not just talking about all, you know, specific types of disease. I'm saying when you have something wrong, something's out of balance, but it can happen coming in from the physical level or the energetic level. And what I mean by that is say, for example, like how does a disease manifest itself? So let's say from an emotional level, let's say something traumatic happened when you were, a, you know, your a parent died when you were small, this might close down your heart chakra I mean, you're never going to completely close down a chakra. They're always going to be running, even if they're running on like, you know, barely. But if you have something like that traumatic and you might not even realize it, it's affecting you to this day, but something like that slows your heart chakra down, maybe to 40%. And guess what? That's going to manifest itself into your physical body with issues at a later time. So now, because of the lack of flow of energy, this might start resulting in, let's say, heart issues, cardiovascular disease, uh, whatever the case may be. And you have to keep everything in balance. And it could work the opposite way. Let's say it's from a physical, not, not necessarily an emotional perspective. Let's say it's from a physical perspective where you're out swimming in... Uh, I don't know, wherever there's a stingray and boom, stingray nails you in your leg. And now you have physical damage to your physical body, which is interconnected with your energy body. Now, even though it started from a physical level, it's transferred into your energetic level, into your energy body. And sometimes you heal up and you're fine. Other times you might have remnants of issues that carry into that. They block certain pathways that cause 
a chain reaction to other issues, and they bring up other forms of disease. This is what disease is, and uh, what you do in this, and it's almost like, I don't want to call it the perfect crystal, but it's something that is so versatile that, and it's so high vibrational, you could use this crystal to balance every single chakra in your entire system. You could use this to balance your entire energy body, every chakra, every piece of your entire energy body which is connected to your physical body, this will balance it. And do you know how big the word balance is in, in this scenario? When you're talking balance, you're talking perfect health. You're talking good health. This is what this is all about. So energetically, what you use this for is to, if you meditate with this, this is going to, not all at once, keep in mind, it's not a miracle. This is going to slowly activate all your chakras, balance them, open them, clean them, ground them, stabilize them, and it's going to stabilize all those physical energies. It is just, it's amazing. And that's why I laugh because... It's so cheap and people pass right by red aragonite a lot of times in a crystal store because, oh, you know, that's a cheap one. Hip, get that for the kid. No, this is just, again, associated with the storm element. This is like lightning in a, in a, in a crystal and it more like static, but it's still awesome. And it pulses through your entire system and it will break up all those imbalances. It will break up anything that's stuck, anything that, whether it started from a physical trauma, whether it started from an emotional trauma, this is going to slowly open up all those energetic pathways and allow that vital energy from the universe to flow everywhere it needs to be and make everything in balance. And therefore, you're going to have good health. You're going to have good emotional everything. You're going to be very well balanced. It, it, it's, it's incredible. So the main word, the number one, which is everything, is balance when we're talking about red aragonite. What's it going to do? Bring the entire energy body into balance. Work with it. Meditate with it. And use it from an emotional healing, just it will release stuck negative emotions, anger, fear, anxiety, anything that manifests themselves into physical issues. This will get in there and just boom. And again, it's not going to do it all at once. But the cool part is if you do, it, like say if you do have a specific area where you're meditating with this, maybe you lay it down in that particular area and meditate. Sometimes you could just feel that little burst of energy where it's almost like you ever have um, your, your, your arm falls asleep and then you can't feel your, you know, your arm or whatever. And when you extend it out, you could feel that rush of blood. Whoosh. That's almost like, and now all of a sudden now it's like, Oh boy, you feel all the, the, you know, that rush of energy and the, that's kind of what this will do. It will pop open those pathways energetically and release all that universal energy to where it wasn't getting before and causing the issue. And then it will slowly heal. Work with this, meditate with this, and it could bring your entire system into balance does that make this the most powerful crystal ever? I don't know. Maybe. If, if, if somebody could say, hey, you pick something so versatile, why wouldn't you go for this? I mean, this could do so much. If you bring, if you come back into balance 
That's what it's all about. You're going to feel better. You're going to sleep better. You're going to, everything's going to be better. You're going to take your, if you could click your fingers and, and have your energy body back to when you're, you know, a teenager or whatever the case may be, when you're feeling the best in your life, that's kind of where you, you need to go with this. It's, it's incredible. Highly recommend working with this and using it on, on a regular basis. And it can do wonders for your entire energy system. Um, you do want to cleanse this. There are so many crystals on this thing. You want to run this underwater. You want to cleanse this before each use. Definitely. So it's at its peak. And you will not be sorry working with this. And it's also absolutely beautiful to look at. So when you're not using it, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's cheap. Did I say that already? Ten times? So that is it about Aragonite. Definitely go out and get some of this if you don't already have it. Or if it's already sitting on your shelf. Start working with it. Start bringing it into your routine. It pairs well with other crystals. It's just so versatile. And again, one word. Balance. That's what Red Aragonite is all about. That is it. I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.